So we have here radical equations, right? So this is a square root of x plus three minus square root of x minus two equals to one. So how do we solve this? If we square both sides, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's square both sides. That's with the equation. We can perform the same operation on both sides simultaneously. So once we square this become a perfect square, we will get, we will get square of this, which is x plus 3. Then minus 2 times this one multiplied by this one. That's the square root of x plus 3 x minus 2. Then plus this one squared, which is x minus 2. So now we simplify a little bit. We'll have x, x, that's 2x. We'll have 3, negative 2. 3 minus 2 is plus 1. Then minus 2, this term, equals 1. So we minus 1 on both sides. So now this becomes 0. So we can add this term on both sides. We get 2x equals to 2 radical x plus 3 x minus 2 now we divide by 2 on both sides now we can square square this side then square this side we get x squared equals to square square root cancel each other x plus 3 x minus 2 well, we we'll follow this, right? So this one, the middle term, the first term is obvious, x times x, that's x squared. The last term is obvious, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. Only the middle term, middle term comes from this one, 3x minus 2x, so this plus x. So again, we have x squared on both sides. We subtract x squared on both sides. So we get x zero equals to x minus six. So x equals to six. Because we squared you know, twice, so once we have a solution, we want to go back to check. Let's see, so if this is six, we get a square root of nine, which is three. If this is 6, 6 minus 2, that's 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 3 minus 2, indeed, 1. Okay, good.